we're going to be tweaking some things. Um, and the first thing we're going to tweak is, if you notice if I scroll down here, I have a top menu is the name of this module. Of course, it's not really top, but that's just the name of it. And you'll notice our links down here. It's just another menu, but it's the same as over here. Well, it doesn't really look good because it's right below the content. Well, the reason why is because, remember in our last lesson, we styled the main menu module, basically. So anything that's a module that's a menu is going to look like this. Now, how do I make it to where just this left column has this styling? Well, it's easy, very simple. I'm going to go to Style Master. And if you remember, everything on the left here is in what's the div left col or left column. Well, we can specify that only our main level or main module links will be in the left, will be styled that way. And we just style it div l col. Because remember, that's our left div position. Actually, you can see it down here, div. If I click on this, it's going to highlight everything in the left column. You see that? So we're basically just saying the only main menu modules in this left column can be looking like this, which is easy to do. Same thing, div l col, because that's what it's called. Div l col. And let's save that. And let's see what that looks like now. And now you notice our main menu over here, our top menu module, excuse me, which is the same module as this. It's a main menu module is what it's called. But it doesn't have the styling because only now in the left column or the left or L col div will be looking like this. Okay, and on to our left column again. We're going to continue to style some of these things. The next thing I want to style is this latest news, our news flash thing. You notice that our X's here on the left just don't quite display right. Well, it's probably because the styling's different than what's set. You notice again, if I click on them, it's trying to read from our A here, our main link. But really, it's under ul.latestnews is how we're going to style this. So if I scroll down and look for the UL and the list items, you'll notice that, okay, our X picture, our GIF, which is showing up, is going to be showing up at any time there's a list item. Well, we don't want that. We just want it on the left-hand side here where it's going to show up. So let's add ul.latestnews. And the same thing as, notice, li.latestnews. li.latestnews. And let's go tab over and see what this looks like now. Refresh it. Scroll down. Now these has these have X's, but still kind of messed up. We're going to fix that here in a second. But we notice over here now there's no X's next to these top menu and things like that, which I think that looks better for right now. But let's go ahead and make sure these X's over here align right. So you notice when I click on this, again it brings me back up to the A link because they are links. But if you look down at the pathway, it's telling me, oh, there's an extra class we need to style. It's the A dot latest news which basically means the LI latest news list item here um, needs to be styled for a link. So let's go ahead and add a new one here. Okay, and now we're going to just go ahead and cup, cut this out of here and paste it in our A latest news instead. Let's go ahead and save that and refresh it. And you'll notice, there we go. Looks a lot better now. 